Hello, tacticians and strategists, admirals and generals, welcome back to Strategic Mind, the Pacific, and playing hardball. So we have taken total control of the uh, of the island of Luzon. However, our friends, the Imperial Japanese army, uh, have caused some trouble. As it appears, they are not feeding the prisoners that we took, that are sitting here at this war camp, apparently. And, uh, well, we are supposed to, our guards or something, are supposed to deliver some food to the prison of war camp. And I, I just hope that there's, that, that we won't have any trouble now. And that I'm going to do it correctly, but I'm not sure what I what I have to do. So we have to deliver food supplies for the prisoners of war. So this this one here, right? Ah, oh yeah. So and that's that. So I guess embarkation. We could go here and embark on a train. Ah, oh yeah. So that's actually pretty nice. It's a it's a nice train, by the way. That's a nice train. So and then. We go here or what? The plan is only possible at the railroad station, okay. Yeah, you guys uh, don't have any more movement points, right? Or do you? They can't go anywhere. Hmm. Okay, well, so who knows what other unforeseen stuff happens, so let's get back to the bases. Not that something bad is happening here. We need to reload. Bombs are gone. Let's get back to base. We need to reload. Yeah. So I guess it's next turn or what? I hope we run out of ammo soon. My sword is thirsty for So blood. let's spread out. Just in case I something unforeseen ordered. happens. These guys are providing be a defensive a pity I did not pass the air defense fire. And I, by the way, this is probably a good, uh, a good opportunity to try to try uh, to try something out. Because I wanted to try to go here, so they need all, all the, uh, all the movement points. But we should be able to get on the mountain, right? And having the anti-air on the mountain seems to be like an excellent idea, right? So these guys can go back there. They can go back there. And we have control there, so let's yeah, let's just spread out you guys. Go there. So let's end the turn. Good thing is that we were rather quick. So we do have some turns left. Okay, but the time is still running. So let's do you guys go there and then you. From yeah. Admiral Yamamoto to Prime Minister Tojo. We have fully seized Luzon. The remaining enemy troops in the Philippines are doomed. Their final defeat will not take long. From Prime Minister Tojo to Admiral Yamamoto. I have no words to describe how happy the whole Japanese nation is about the success of the landing on the Philippines. You have done your duty with honor and prove to the whole world the Imperial Navy can fight the big league rivals. 
now we have confirmed our ability to beat the Yankees on the sea, in the air, and on the ground. We will keep doing so until the rising sun of our empire shines over the Pacific Ocean in full force. The Philippines will become a great foothold to continue our victorious offensive. Okay. We get two uh, two medals. I'm not sure if we missed anything, but I don't think so. Well, last time we got three, right? But well, so it's, it appears to be good. So let's finish the mission. I mean, we can't do anything else, right? Out of the second, uh, of the rising sun, second class. Knight Grand Cordon of the most exalted order of the White Elephant, plus two air defense to the HQ unit, granted by the King of Thailand. Okay, nice. And this is like the maximum, the 400 points here. Up to 25 victory points for all flags, clear all enemies. We did that. Oh, you do not have to clear the following types of units. Static objects like forts, submarines and civilians. Okay, I didn't see any civilians. Secondary objectives is up to 100. We don't have a loss penalty and indecision penalty. Yeah. Yeah, well. We have to pay 247 for the core units repair, non-core units repair 61. Yeah, well, and we get two command points at defense to the HQ unit, so... I'm a bit uncertain, but well, it appears that uh, we got everything right. So, and I think the indicator for a totally successful mission should be the victory points, right? One hundred, yeah. So it appears to be the maximum. We didn't, yeah. So let's return to the game. So we, there's nothing else to do, right? And we have completed all objectives and everything on time. We got the American tanks. We destroyed the uh, the plane. So yeah, well. Let's go here, let's finish the operation. The Philippines are ours. Congratulations to the Army and the Navy High Commands with an exemplary operation. I have informed His Majesty about your success and he expressed his pleasure with your efforts. Indeed, the Army acted admirably. This is yet another proof that the Japanese have no equals in combat. Our military might and samurai spirits would suffice to make a worthy gift for our emperor and throw the United States of America at his feet. Your vigor is inspiring, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. A complete victory is far off. Allow me to disagree. The army is an infallible sword in the hands of the emperor, and trust me, it is mighty enough to cut down any foe. Following the path of the samurai and cultivating our fighting spirit, we will destroy all of our foes and force what's left of them into labor in the name of our glorious empire. I am not going to keep listening to this nonsense quietly. First of all, the best gift for the emperor is to negotiate peace with the United States on good terms for Japan. Secondly, the army cannot ascertain success at sea. Where we have the navies of four maritime countries fighting against us. Thirdly, I will ask you not to forget about the navy's contribution towards the victory in the Philippines. Otherwise, your soldiers will have to swim in order to reach the next island. <laughs> uh, it looks as if I was just listening to the Commander of the American fleet, whom do you serve, Mr. Yamamoto? Or 
Would you prefer to be addressed as sir? I would ask you to follow etiquette and abstain from any further offensive remarks. It is beneath the faithful servants of our Emperor. Not all of us are the faithful servants of the Emperor. I'm sure that Mr. Yamamoto would prefer to be in the company of his American friends, wouldn't he? Prime Minister Tocho, if by any chance I hear one more phrase of this sort about me during the war councils, I will be forced to relinquish my duty and all the consequences will be on you. I beg your pardon, Admiral Yamamoto. You will not hear any more unfair insults. Furthermore, I ask you to maintain decent living conditions for the enemy prisoners of war. It is a matter of extreme importance if we plan to conduct negotiations with any civilized country. I assure you that the necessary measures will be taken. The council meeting is adjourned. Though, Sugiyama, I would ask you to stay. Okay, <clears throat> maybe the guy gets his head washed a little bit. Yeah, I like this very much. So, and that was actually referring to uh, high tensions. And I, as far as I'm uh, informed, Yamamoto was actually, uh, or he, there were death threats against him. Uh, by some old, you could say, like, uh, let's say, very traditional uh, Japanese um, military personnel, uh, especially as he uh, tried to um, change the, the naval doctrine as well, as he was uh, the um, aviation uh, naval officer, basically, right? So now we have another or two, two other medals. That's very nice. Oh no, okay, so we last time we also got two medals. Uh, the Knight Grand Cordon of the Most Exalted Order of the White Elephant. That's a nice one. So, okay, so I guess like in Thailand it's... Uh, uh, in Thailand uh, elephants are of uh, very high significance. So this one here. I think we we should get this one here. Level one, all units have enough experience for a level up from the start. That should be pretty nice for 300. And then we have 100 more that we could invest. Uh, which could be... Maybe, maybe uh, the maybe um, additional move, uh, uh, additional equipment slots or something. Yeah, but I'll think about that. Maybe this one here would also be interesting. So it costs less to put the infantry on seaplanes. So I think that was pretty useful. I think that was a very useful move to get our guys uh, on the east. Yeah. On the eastern side around the island so ugaki what what say you the operation in the philippines has demonstrated the fact that the army is not inclined to cooperate with the navy furthermore its treatment of prisoners of war and civilians alike indicates a complete disregard for the universally accepted laws of war ambitions of the army high command clearly outweigh their military competence and it may have dire consequences if the army cannot cope with its tasks, the Rikusentai units must be ready to intervene. The ability of rapid troop redeployment with hydroplanes will be invaluable at times. Oh yeah, okay. So that that was probably very uh, important um, information. So there we are. Now we have the Philippines. We control the Pacific all up to the Marshall Islands and gotcha. We have successfully intercepted the ship with General MacArthur on board and greatly undermined the morale of the whole US military forces. All US ground troops and their allies received the poor morale effect. Okay, that's pretty nice. New Guinea campaign. 
here. Task capture the oil production and part of New Guinea. So this is like the 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 actual and real war goal here, as I have explained, right? As you guys remember. So the whole thing was to secure access to oil. So oil production part of New Guinea engaged the enemy fleet. Type major landing operation naval battle. Okay. So and we do have a lot of prestige now, but on the other hand, it's not so much. But uh, I think we don't need any more. Oh yeah, everybody has uh, the option. Oh, oh nice. We can upgrade. So there are other types. Okay, Tiriku side 42. Okay, they have a white ribbon that makes them more courageous, I guess. So they are, all their attacks are increased. But they're otherwise, yeah, they were, well, their their attacks are increased, so which costs 20 prestige. Yeah, I guess we'll upgrade all our guys. We actually, we do have a, a, a rather huge force, I think, like at least infantry wise. But uh, it appears that that we are heavily relying on infantry anyway, uh, which is uh, easily redeployable, actually, right? Yugumo and Kagera class. Oh yeah, nice, okay. So we have a new a new type of destroyer that costs 90 more, that's good. So I, I guess we are upgrading all our ships. And that's actually a significant upgrade. Naval defense. Yeah. Okay. And then, well, this is the Yamato class. I think we are we are never getting the Yamato, I guess, unless uh, it's like an auxiliary unit. Tone class, heavy cruiser. Oh, I think we saw that one before, right? I actually I'm inclined to get another cruiser uh, uh, carrier, the Shukaku. I think that would be a good thing. 1,700. That would leave us with qu with quite a lot of uh, prestige. Not only to get planes for it, but also to upgrade all our units. I think that would be a good thing. And we need a second uh, submarine. The submarine is very useful, as we have learned. And I think the the, the tactic uh, uh, to isolate capital ships is probably a really good thing. And then also they function pretty nicely as uh, scouts, although they are a little bit slow for that. But it's fine. Like, thanks to the scouting, it's actually a good thing. So, and that looks pretty good, I think. But otherwise, yeah, we don't have any improvement, but we'll, we are going to um, uh, upgrade our artillery there. And then the skies. Oh, and we can overstrength our units now. That's actually probably really good, but that should be rather expensive as well. Yeah, there are no new planes for us now. But I mean, it's uh, it hasn't been much time anyway. Um, yeah. But it's I think we are doing pretty fine. So. And the good news is that most of our units already have uh, upgrades installed, like the Dazzle Camouflage. Well, by the way, let's have a look. Do we have anything else? No. Anything new? I mean, I think it would be very useful to have a Marine Squad in here. For example, if we would have had that one, um, the Marines could have taken uh, the this Fortress Island with ease. But well, on the other hand, like as long as we have uh, ground troops, then we can land them anywhere, right? With with at least a harbor. Yeah. So they already have the better torpedo. That's a good thing. So I'm I'm inclined to give our destroyers, torpedoes and dazzle camouflage and dazzle camouflage for every ship. Um, 
Yeah. And otherwise, well, there's no new stuff. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, these guys. It's actually a good thing that we got the steward. So let's compare the the values. Yeah, okay. So this one here. The steward is basically like our anti-tank tank. It's better defense, gr better ground defense. And it's quicker. But otherwise comparable. Okay, so you guys A new mortar, the one that we looted. Oh, it's actually worse. It's actually worse than our 150. And otherwise, it seems to be as heavy uh, as our 150 millimeter. Well, then, okay. Oh, it's, there's a heavy searchlight now, okay. Plus three air attack during the night time. Heavy equipment if the unit does not have ground transport, it loses the ability to move. Medium if the unit does not have ground transport. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, but it's fine. We ha we do have ground transport. And then these guys. Gunto. No, otherwise there's nothing new. Except for the mortar that we looted. And then the planes. No, nothing new. Okay, which is a bit sad. But the good news is we already had aircraft radar installed. Maybe we should get the the cameras. But in the end, yeah. I mean, I personally I relied as we as we have seen uh, very much on the uh, aerial reconnaissance. I find that very useful. And uh, for that we had the this one here, right? So this that's actually a, a good thing. So yeah, so I think we we are going to get the training program. Um, that's probably the best thing for us. That gives the the most immediate uh, advantage. And then we have 100 points left. Yeah, as I said. So and then we'll see maybe the additional equipment, but it's probably not necessary. Um, but we'll see the heavy landing ship could be interesting. But on the other hand, yeah, it depends on the number of units. And we only have basically a few things that we could land, but it could be it could be quite the uh, advantage. But let's see. So our friend said that we need the redeployment, right? So where is it? Like the amphibious seaplane. So making it cheaper leaves us with more points to use for air recon. So that seems to be pretty good. Also, it only costs 100. So this would be, I think this, this is what we do. Getting this one. Um, and getting the experience is probably a good thing. So, yeah. But how things go further forward, like here in New Guinea, we'll see in the next episodes, my dear fellow strategists and tacticians. So I hope you like this episode. Um, if you have any knowledge, about the battle of the Philippines that you wish to share with me and the community. I would, I personally would appreciate that greatly. And I would love if this game would, or my let's play of this game would become more like a platform uh, to share knowledge, uh, especially as, as I said before, I'm a German and European. So my focus is of course more like for, uh, on, or has been more on the European and North African uh, theater of the second world war. But, uh, I think uh, we can't overstate how important the the political and military um, results of the Second World War were, uh, because that is basically very much uh, influencing and defining how the world is today, right? But yeah, it's just one very important phase in history. 
and it's not so long ago actually so some people are still alive so again thanks for watching i would appreciate it if you click the like button and you are very welcome to join the channel if you haven't done so yet so you never ever miss an episode again so next time bye bye